Who's Kristen Stewart? Kristen Stewart, Kristen Stewart the actress. Oh. She's doing On the Road right now. So I put, why doesn't anyone understand or recognize Kristen Stewart for two excellent movie roles that I was sold on prior to any Twilight hoopla? You want to parade around here in your birthday suit? Display in your... She's the star of Twilight. So the first movie that sold me was The Runaways, and then I saw her in a film called Meet the Rileys. The first is a biopic story based on the Sherry Curie memoir and um, about her experience being with Joan Jett and the band Runaways, the first female punk band. It was really incredible, and Kristen Stewart was Joan Jett. She looked like Joan Jett, okay? So do you remember when Lou, how Lou Diamond Phillips played Richie Valens in La Bamba? And the, the real Richie Valens was pudgy, not as good looking, but that, that's sort of different. It's like um, when, when Dennis Quaid, he was playing Jerry Lee Lewis and he looked like him and he had that swagger and the way that he moved with the piano. Well, Kristen Stewart, she held the guitar like Joan Jett would. She wore that t-shirt and little punk leather jacket like Joan Jett would wear it. And she had the voice and style and everything that is ever like visually and, and audio type acknowledged that is associated with Joan Jett. And people said The Runaways was too artsy a film. Like, what's that? It's, it's, or Floria Zigismundi, the director, didn't give the formulaic Hollywood rock star biopic glaze over it. So it's too rough. And, it, you know, and, and that, that girl, Kristen Stewart, she was like Joan Jett incarnate. I'm saying the girl was made for the role because she has no hips. Uh, hello, she had her hair at down to a T. And when she sings, she even sounds like her on the CD because they made the CD with music from the film and songs where her and Dakota Fanning cover runaway songs. I am saying, I'm not, I'm not dissing Dakota either. Dakota was incredible, but I'm focusing, I'm focusing on Kristen Stewart because everybody in the general populi always talks about her doing Bella in Twilight and they never acknowledge her role. And it, it bothers me because Kristen Stewart is a brilliant actress and it, it makes me mad. I mean, this this other movie, Meet the Riley, she played a stripper. And I read this profile in Vanity Fair where they had Kristen pose in like these beautiful, super long couture gowns all over France. These incredible backdrops of different venues um, in, in Paris. And they did her a disservice, I believe, by practically making it seem like there's a body double posing, posing for these pictures. And it made me mad that they never talked or did that small picture insert. You know how they have those tiny little picture inserts and then a film name under it? They didn't acknowledge that she played this defiant stripper teen at, that is doted on by this father character, played by the Sopranos guy. The fact that she really, she nailed a stripper. You know how Marissa Tomei nailed it in The Wrestler? Well, Kristen Stewart nailed it in Meet the Rileys, let me tell you. Her body is so thin, the attitude is so perfect. I mean, it bothered me. Like, maybe she has a very strict or controlling PR person that stops those pictures or acknowledging certain roles. Um, and those those scenes, they don't end up in a montage of the actor's best work. But hey, The Runaways, Joan Jett, uh, unbelievable. Uh, this other Meet the Rileys character, unbelievable. And then when these actors are in a huge blockbuster film, people don't discuss their earlier roles. That's like, that's the equivalent to music writers not acknowledging music put out in albums and B-sides pre-radio hit play. Like this is, this is pre-blow up albums. It's like if I was doing a profile or, or reviewing them on Rolling Stone and I would never acknowledge that demo tape or the B-side album, it's taboo. So how is it that they don't do that when it comes to actors and these roles? I, I, I don't get it, but I'm not surprised though because there's just some programming that is whitewashed by Disney and everything moves ahead to the younger generation and everything caters to an age bracket because they have the disposable income and there's no more art circle. There's just this pastiche of our currency of current. It's this currency of current that kills us because it's the facade of having these young actors get really famous and then known for these blockbuster roles and it's kind of like robbing somebody if they want to be, like they're taking away their chance to be an actor belonging to the 21st century. Example, Dustin Hoffman, he made films prior to blow up fame, same with Tom Hanks, Nicholson, De Niro, et cetera, et cetera. And there wasn't this apparent hunger for pretty young marketable people that aren't fully formed as their chops are still being worked. 
It's typical for them to bring up the Jodie Foster footage. They always do that with Kristen Stewart. As she is a child and unaware of her brilliance and soon to be fame, so they, they always talk about when she did these scenes with Jodie Foster and how Jodie Foster commented on how introspective and intuitive this young Kristen Stewart was and that surprised her. Well, I just see that there's blow up fame and then there's stuff that is completely forgotten. So maybe we are gonna continue this way, but I feel I felt badly about seeing Kristen Stewart in that profile and what uh, what I know. Who's Kristen Stewart? 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 Who's Kristen Stewart?